up, y'all? Preston from Fight Media 360 here. So this is a quick uh, preview and prediction for Abney Yildrum versus Jack Colin. So before we get into all this, I just want to say uh, this fight takes place on the undercard of Connor Ben versus Adrian Granados. So, so if you guys want to watch this, this will be on the zone. Obviously promoted by Matchroom, Eddie Hearn. Um, and this and, and this in the time will probably well in America it's probably gonna be like 10 a.m. or uh, 11 a.m. in America. Um, so yeah. So now we got that out the way. So now let's talk about their stats and then the odds and, and then what they need to do to win and then my final prediction. So let's start off with Abney Yildrum. So Abney Yildrum Abney Yildrum comes into the fight with a record of 21 wins, three losses, zero draws, 12 wins coming by way of knockout. He stands at a height of five foot eleven and a half with a seventy inch reach, and obviously Abney Yildirim coming off a loss to Canelo, which was pretty obvious what the outcome was going to be. And yeah, Jack Cullen comes into the fight with the record of nineteen wins, two losses, one draw, nine wins coming by way of knockout. He stands at a height of six foot three and his reach is unknown. So Jack Cullen has a significant uh, height advantage, and I would and I would probably say he has a significant reach advantage too, or like pretty close or something. All right now the odds. This computer is being very slow. Just let it take a bit. All right. So Jack Cullen is listed as a negative one seventy favorite over uh, Abney Yildirim. So yeah. So now we got that out the way, so now let's talk about what they need to do to win, and then my final prediction. So let's start off with the slight underdog, Abney Yildirim. Abney Yildirim, man. Like, I never, I mean, I I'm never, I never was a fan of Abney Yildirim, you know. Um, he was always, he was an alright fighter, but he was always that kind of fighter who always got hit a lot, you know. But, like, when Abney starts throwing punches, you know, that's when he's really good. Because he, he carries a lot of power once he starts throwing punches, you know. Because when it, when there's a, a, the aggressive Abney Yildirim, he is a very dangerous fighter. Uh, so that's what I want to see from Abney is, like, I would really want him to be aggressive in this fight. You know, kind of like the, the, the young Abney Yildirim, kind of like, you know, be aggressive, you know. Throw extremely hard shots to uh, Jack Cullen and definitely break down Cullen. You know, break like break Cullen down to the body because Cullen, even though the dude only has nine knockouts, he isn't a boxer. He's a he's actually he likes to uh you know throw hands. He likes to you know brawl. So he leaves a lot of openings to the body and to the head. So Abney really needs to break down Cullen's body. You know and really tear up the body of Colin and, you know, and then, like, make Colin, you know, guess that, you know, all, like, all you're gonna do is hit the body and make him want to cover the body so he can crack him to the head, because Colin doesn't look, he, like, he doesn't look like he can take body shots that well, so he needs to break down Colin to the body, and then once you can see that he's just very tired from the body shots, go to the head, but also just Keep ripping to the body, and then just keep keep doing that, and then after that, just try to just look for the stoppage against Colin, you know, because Colin has got stopped twice, so all of his losses came from a stoppage, you know, both of them have experience being stopped in, in their fights, so Gildrum needs to just rip to the body and just be very aggressive and definitely pull Colin to the ropes and then unleash with shots. And try to break down Colin, you know, because Colin is a lot taller than Avni, so he needs to really break down that body and drive him to the ropes, and then one, and then like you know, make Colin kind of like you know, guard his body, but because when you when someone guards their body, their head is like down when they're just really just focusing on covering the body. So when he's doing that, rip to rip like to the head, you know, and just try to unleash with punches to the head. Because Abney Yildirim, I mean, he sucks, but he can be good. You know, like, obviously he sucks against 
you know, the top fighters. But, you know, Jack Cohen isn't necessarily a top fighter. So he should so it should make a very good fight. So he just really needs to rip to the body and really cut the ring off against Colin and really just tear up Colin. So and just really, really just be uh, just really be an, a, an aggressive fighter against Colin. You cannot just be like stand there and just get punched and not throw punches. You have to throw punches. This guy doesn't really carry a lot of power. Like you know, the dude only got nine knockouts out of like how how many wins? 19 he has nine knockouts out of 19 wins so he so he definitely needs to take advantage of that and bull rush uh colin you know and overpower colin so that's what abney yildrum needs to do to win so now for jack colin what, what i would like to see from jack colin like like he he isn't a boxer you know he doesn't he doesn't like to box but I'm just going to say that if Abney Yildirim comes into the fight wanting to, you know, scrap and throw hands, he cannot brawl with him because you're not going to win in that kind of battle. And, you know, Abney Yildirim is just going to pick you off and find openings for days. So he really needs to focus on using the jab against Abney and really not try to be always aggressive. So this fight, I would really like to, uh, like, you know, I really like to see him Use his height up and reach advantage over Abney and use your jab. And then, you know, you can be aggressive, but really just be aggressive, but also be like, also try to box, you know, and try to, you know, again, use your jab to keep Abney off of you. And then, you know, just really just work on your footwork to try to move around and pick your shots in the outside. Because again, like Colin isn't a boxer. He's just a guy. He's a guy who likes to throw hands. But, yeah, he doesn't have a lot of power. And Abney definitely has the advantage of power in this fight. So, he really needs to not brawl with Abney if he decides to just try to brawl. But, if you get an Abney that just doesn't throw hands and when you're just throwing and you're just punching him and he's not throwing hands, that's when you can do what you want and just try to, uh, and just try to just, you know, pressure fight him and just try to, um, just try to like you know throw a lot of punches at him and just try to just bull rush him pretty much cuz both these guys are are uh are bull rushers not bull rushers but they're both they're both aggressive fighters kind of like you know even though Colin doesn't carry a lot of power they're they're both pressure fighters I'm trying to say they're both they're both pressure fighters so like if you if you get an Avni that just doesn't throw hands at all that's when you could just you know, brawl in this and just, you know, throw hands in the inside and just do what you usually do and be a pressure fighter. But again, if Abney is, if if you're going to get an Abney Yildrum who is going to throw hands and wants to knock you the hell out and just throwing like a lot of punches and really just trying to bull rush you, that's when you need to use your boxing skills and use your jab and use your height and, your, and use your reach and just try to make it a boxing fight. You know, and just try to, like, you know, box Yildrum's ears off, you know. Because Yildrum takes a lot of shots, you know. He took, a, like, I heard that he takes, like, the most power punches. You know, he took a lot of power punches against uh, against Anthony Durrell, uh, even Chris Eubank, and all, and even freaking, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Oh, duh, Canelo. Um, so he does take a lot of power shots, but... A fighter like this who doesn't have a lot of power, you know, it might not be as effective. But, again, if you're going to get an Abney who just not is not throwing punches at all, that's when you can be aggressive. But if you but if there's an Abney who wants to brawl and wants to, you know, knock you out and throwing hands and being, you know, trying to bull rush you, that's when you really need to start boxing, you know. And, and again, use your jab, use your height, and then you use your reach, you know, against him. And then use your footwork against Abney, because Abney does not have good footwork at all. I don't think he even uses that, that, like, footwork. He has very slow feet, so he definitely needs to, because I'm get, like, if I'm gonna guess what kind of Abney you're gonna get in this fight, I, I'm gonna say you're, I, I think you're gonna be kind of surprised from Abney. I think you're gonna get an Abney who is gonna be more aggressive than usual, so I, I think that Colin really just needs 
to use his boxing skills and use his footwork against Abney. Because if you can box and, and if you can just outbox him, you like and just use your height and again use your reach over uh Abney, you will have a very very good chance of winning this fight. And that's what Jack Cullen needs to do to win. So yeah. So my final prediction for this fight, you know, this this is a good fight, you know. Like it's a very good fight, but I think the right answer is Abney Yildrum by a knockout in the earlier or mid rounds. Reason why I say that is because uh Jack Cullen is a guy that likes to brawl. You ex you like 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 you prob you probably expect him to try to box because he doesn't have that much power and he's like tall. But he's not that kind of fighter, and he, and he likes to brawl. But he leaves a lot of openings w to the body, you know. So I think that Yildirim would really find that body against Colin. And then Colin, even to the head, you know, he finds... He just, like, leaves just a lot of openings. And I think that would really favor Abney Yildirim when you're just gonna... Like, when you're just gonna leave all hella openings, you know, leave, like, wide... like And again, leave wide openings to the body... And, like, it does, and I don't think that Jack Cullen can take body shots that well. It doesn't look like, you know, he can probably take body shots that well. And especially a puncher like Abney Yildirim. You know, I know he only has 12 knockouts out of, like, 21 wins. But once Abney is, like, throwing hands and throwing bombs, that's when he's dangerous. And I think you're going to get that Abney Yildirim into the fight. And that's why I picked Abney Yildirim by a knockout in the early or mid round. So, yeah. So that's my final prediction. I got Abney Yildirim by a knockout in the early or mid rounds. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Subscribe. I'm Fight Media 360. I mean, I'm Preston for Fight Media 360. And thank you all for watching this video.